Facebook him to get the party started with Caring for Giants tour where we get to actually be with elephants, see how they care for them. I don't know what else. Do we get to pet them? Do we get to feed them? I'm Maria from LBV TV where it is never a dull moment in the most magical places on earth and today is no exception. We're going to get, like I said, up close with the elephants. I don't know what to expect but this used to be uh, available before the parks closed and now this is the first time it is back. That's right, back since the parks reopened and we're gonna get to take you on it. Maybe we'll get to kiss a little elephant. I don't know, I can't wait to see. Are you guys excited? Comment below with your favorite safari animal and you'll be entered to win a shirt from shoplbv.com. So after the vlog's done, join us in the comments, let us know your favorite safari animal and you'll be entered to win a shirt. Is your favorite elephants? I don't know, I think we're about to see Dumbo and family and I can't wait, I'm so excited. But of course to get the party started, look at Divine here. That's right, when you come into Animal Kingdom, make sure to keep an eye out on the vegetation. It might be moving. The fabulous Divine is out. Get it, Vine? Divine? Oh, how fun. Oh, this is so cool. No, oh, she's, she's camouflaging. She's camouflaging. Look how beautiful. Oh my goodness. I'm a big fan. I gotta, one day I'm gonna be as graceful as you. Oh, she's amazing. She can go right up to her and take a picture. So cool. Oh my goodness, best day ever. Love you, Divine. Oh, so you go up and take a picture with her. You'll have a really epic moment like how she just wrapped her vines around me. Oh, key Tom fangirling. Um, and there is a character attendance. So if you want a photo, just ask them and they'll help you out. She's so beautiful. Oh my goodness. Make sure when you're entering Animal Kingdom to keep an eye out even on the greenery because you might have some awesome wild characters out. She's one of my favorites. She is absolutely elegant, magnificent, sophisticated, beautiful. <laughs> Love it. And now she even gets close to you. And sometimes she changes what is on her branches. Uh, a few weeks ago she had flowers. I see beautiful grape vines. Okay, I wish I had that kind of grace. I'm more like a Winnie the Pooh. Look at that. She's like a, a ballerina on a vine. How amazing. Oh, I love it. It's so crazy. The funny part is I can see people walking by not even realizing she's right here because she's blending and look how she blends in. How cool is that? <laughs> With all of those vines, she just makes this look too easy. She's a goddess. It's official. She's a goddess. We're not worthy. We haven't even gotten to the Caring with the Giants tour. But again, we're just walking in. We haven't even made it towards the Tree of Life. And there are these cute, adorable, I call them deer pigs. Um, and that's actually what their name translates to into uh, in Chinese. Look how cute that face. Are you, you look like a puppy. So again, as you're walking through Animal Kingdom to enter, make sure to check things out. A lot of people miss this. There is never a dull moment as you are walking through Animal Kingdom. All right, time to get the party started. Who is ready to play with elephants? I am. And did you know that all of the proceeds from these tours go towards the Disney Conservation Fund? If you don't know what that is, it is a awesome fund that supports animal uh, habitats, rescues, uh, and conservation efforts around the world. And they are incredible. I think they have hundreds and hundreds of groups they've worked with from all over. So again, you can feel good about spending that money on that tour as it's going to help some awesome animals. We haven't even gotten all the way to the King for Giants tour and just so many fun things in Animal Kingdom. Never a dull moment. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. That's what Kevin just said. Oh, they did, Kevin. Don't worry. They did. All right, before we get to the Caring with the Giants tour, Asha wanted to grab a snack to share. This is the new jelly donut with pork uh, pulled sandwich. I don't know. This looks like... Uh, it's... Yeah, I think it's a heartburn or a heart attack waiting to happen. Um, Ashton, I think you're gonna do the honors trying this. But it's at the Eight Spoon Cafe over at the entrance of Asia. Let us know in the comments of this vlog, would you eat this? Would you eat this? I don't I don't think the elephants would even eat. I don't know. So all tours from Animal Kingdom depart from Africa. 
and you come over to this booth here just like you would the Wild Africa track and some of the other vlogs you've seen us do like the Savor the Savannah and more and you come sign in and get ready for an awesome adventure. For an extra entry from shoplbb.com for some awesome Disney apparel that we designed, go into the comments and let us know what are the themes of the other Animal Kingdom vlogs we've done. There's not a ton, but list them. Was it character dining at Tusker House? Maybe I just gave one away. Was it Earth Day? Maybe I just gave one away. So head over into our vlogs, go check them out, type them into the comments for extra entries. Guys, we have our awesome friend Nate with us, Paging Mr. Morrow. Make sure to go check out his vlog, his TikTok, all the fun he has on Instagram too. This is gonna be amazing. What are you I know. excited for? I to see the elephants. Just up close too. Yeah. Like super up close. I'm pumped. Uh, I love elephants. Oh, I can't. And you've never done anything like this before. No, I've never done any of the tours here, so this is my first time. Oh, you're in for a treat. Nice. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> all right, so we were given our name tags before we're about to go out to the elephants. And our name tags we get to keep, but it says it's made out of elephant poop. It says this is handcrafted paper made out of 80% elephant poop. I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. All right, so this is the poo poo paper. It comes with your name tag, and look, it says handcrafted out of poop. Poop fibers. So it's called poopoopaper.com. How cool. All right, we can't film backstage, so you're gonna see us just magically appear at the elephants. I'm so excited. The baby's out. And my mom. <gasps> the baby and the mommy. Oh, how cute. Oh, another one. How amazing. <gasps> There's so many of them. Right in just our view. I love this. And then you got a little baby one right there, too. Oh, this the baby amazing. likes you. I know, the baby's right there. Yeah. I'm like so excited. <laughs> Oh, how cute. Guys, the baby came out and three other elephants. Oh, this is so cool. They probably were like, hey, we want to see what's going on. We want to play with the people. And the baby definitely likes Nate. It's just, the baby's just hanging out. It's so cute. Oh, they're eating hay. Is that what they're doing? <gasps> Donna may have babies. So you can see some of the African track over there. Quite honestly. And our big male Mac, he's very gentle and very good about putting up with a little bit of sassiness from the being part of that. Oh, the elephant's saying hi to the uh, safari. Look at that. Oh, she's throwing water on herself. Oh, she's, she's hot. She's showering. Actually, um, how fun. Donna is very friendly. Donna's a friendly elephant. Donna's getting her mud bathing on and showing off for the safari. Oh, oh here she goes. Where is she going? We ask them to like reach up for something or to lay down. We actually can. Oh, let's see. Oh, she's sucking up the water, throwing it around. You haven't seen right now. Donna's got some mud. She's throwing it on her back. Does anybody know what they're doing that for? To cool down? Cooling off, yeah, yeah. sunscreen for them, right? So cool. There's a lot of room to walk around and see them. So awesome, how cool is this? Look, and it just keeps going and going so you can walk the whole pavilion of the African elephants here at Animal Kingdom. A voice caller here. The idea is this metal part here will sit up against their throat and just like if you talk you'll feel the vibrations there it picks them up and it allows us to hear what they're saying now what's super cool is that we're able to not only learn that their calls that mean bees are in the area stay away but we're also able to do lots of other really cool studies in fact one of my favorite ones we've learned here in park is that elephants will essentially a baby elephant when they're weaning will basically throw a tamper tantrum and mom usually gives in so we're able to put this on our elephants here it's really cool. It's actually made of recycled fire hose. We use it for a lot of different reasons here. So sometimes with collars like these for our elephants here. Um, if you guys go around the park today, you'll notice a lot of our animals have hammocks or beds or uh, toys and stuff made out of it because it's really durable. And what's really cool, it's a great way to upcycle. Oh, uh, it's a tooth, like a single a tooth. 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 So this is the, uh, the, the uh, root right here. So essentially you would see kind of this part right here. But they actually have four teeth in their mouth at a time, which is pretty crazy. They're huge, they're bigger than my head. Mm. 
The back is getting older, but by no means uh, is he trying to like push up daisies. Uh, that, he's actually recommended to breed with two of the females that we have here in the park. So we're hoping to have some more kiddos. Miss Nadira, um, who she's back. These elephants are living their best life here. Ooh, ah, I have another good one that's really cool. How is he balancing? I talked a little bit about they have more to replace themselves. Now what's really cool about Donna here is she is the mother of three. So she has her eldest who is, gosh, Nadira is like 16, 17. She is the oldest of the three. We have Luna who is just going to be turning 13 later this year. And then Stella who is five and a half. If anybody's been here in the past couple of years and seen a baby elephant, that would be Stella. She is our youngest. And so right behind uh, us over here, that weird little box thing there is actually an example of one part of the beehive fence. So basically they would surround a farmer underneath. Where you and I can hear with our ears, they can too. They can also feel, essentially hear those rumors from 15 as well, which is really cool. Now I noticed some people check in some of my fun stuff over here. Head out and turn it so that's an elephant um, what I There's a real company, it's poopoopaper.com. So Poopoo poop paper. Up, get your gifts in. Uh, yeah, you've already figured it out. Yeah, your name tag is made on elephant poop paper. But yes, it is a real company. They do elephants and rhinos and some other stuff there. Mm -hmm. But they don't give it to you like this. They like <laughs> wash out the poop first. But you see there's so much plant stuff in there that it's very cool. They it's decided clean. to make something out of it. Mm -hmm. A neat way to do it. Now here, we don't make paper out of it. Remember that horticulture paper. team I talked to you guys earlier? Right, so it's amazing. Right. Lily right there. They're playing. They're eating. They're bathing. They're checking us out. This is so neat. Uh, Again, what a way to get up close to them, and it just feels really wild, even though it's technically a tour. So this is the replica of the beehive that is used to help keep elephants within their area so they don't destroy farmers' crops, and so that's neat to see how that would look. Again, look, they're all just roaming around, having the best day ever. How cool. Oh, Ashlyn, I don't want to leave. Nate, I don't want to go. Don't make me leave. Oh, I see the baby over there. Bye, baby. Bye, baby Stella. That's her name. How cool. Let us know in the comments what you thought of this tour. I loved it. We couldn't talk a ton because we had a lot of cool knowledge from the tour guide. But wow. Oh. Pretty heavy. Oh, so that's how yeah. the dynamics of the footstep of the elephant, too. I know, how awesome. And again, this is the behind the scenes of the Kilimanjaro safaris. So you're seeing a lot of cool things like the baobab trees, the other animals and more. The elephant tour was awesome. I loved it so much. It was so neat to see them uh, playing, the whole family, the babies, the mommies. Uh, again, I always feel like on the safari, you don't get to have that experience with the elephants uh, because again, they're far away or it's uh, just luck. Um, but really getting to get your picture taken uh, up close with them as well as a really personalized tour from an amazingly Brilliant tour guide the cast members at Disney are amazing big thanks to Meg who made that so special because again You could go to a zoo and see an elephant, but you can't get those cast members They are truly a one-of-a-kind and so 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 fun so brilliant. Do you guys have any cast member stories uh, that meant a lot to you? I have to say every time I do these safari adventures, where again, it's awesome that all proceeds go towards a great cause, but I'm just so happy to get to enjoy one-on-one -on -one time with these cast members. Let me know if you have a special story with a cast member in the comments section. A lot of cast member love here. All right, so we just came out from backstage, the safari staff only section, and Nate, what did you think? I loved it. I'm gonna keep my little poo poo paper. Poo -poo I know. Paper. That was amazing. Look, who knew elephant poop looked so good? And you learn so much too. Like, you know what I mean? It's also, I talked about the fact that when you do Kilimanjaro safaris, it's very rare that you see multiple elephants in there. And now we, I mean, we saw five of them in one little area. Oh, yeah. And also, you don't get the kind of one on one uh, trivia. Yeah. One-on-one uh, -on -one information, education, like it's really personalized. Oh, I told yeah. our uh, our safari guide Meg that if even if the elephants didn't show up, I would have been like, this was a blast. Many of shock factors where I was like, oh boy, I didn't even know that. It was oh, really I know. Cool. And backstage was really cool. That was awesome. I don't know if we can tell you what we saw, but we saw some really cool things. Yeah. Oh, like yeah. that was worth honestly the price of admission I too. I like how you kept on talking like how it was Jurassic Park. I know I was like, that like was so funny. <laughs> we're we're passing a raptor paddock. Yeah. There she is. I love it. <laughs> All right, so I've never been backstage before, and Nate just told me when I was like, oh, I don't know what I can tell you guys. He told me you're allowed to say what you saw, you just can't show it. 
for security reasons. So let me tell you what I saw. We saw a dinosaur, a giant triceratops, and it looked like Jurassic Park back there. We saw them building Pandora. So like giant parts of the Valley of Moara were being uh, built. We saw giant huts, um, the animal cages, uh, the train going by. Honestly, even if you didn't see elephants, like I said, you would enjoy just to see the backstage, all the cast members coming through dressed up, the cast of the Lion King came through while we were there. It was so cool. Um, and again, also seeing the backstage of the safari. We were able to see where they hold the different animals, what they do in the case of hurricanes. That in itself, again, was worth the price of admission, even if, again, you didn't see elephants. But we did see elephants, so it was double the awesomeness. And I don't think there's any other uh, tours other than the rhinos we can see backstage here at Animal Kingdom. I think it's one of the coolest backstages ever. It really felt like going to another world, like you were on the Paramount movie set. Uh, that was really neat. And you know, sometimes when you're on the safari, you don't always see the elephants. Honestly, this is the best way to see them if you're an elephant fan. And how can you beat poo poo paper? <laughs> I thought that was so interesting. Let us know in the comments, would you buy poo poo paper? And if you had fun with us, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and that notifications bell, because we have so many cool things in store for you the rest of the week. I can't tell you, because one of them, one of them's big. It's big. Make sure to binge with some of our other vlogs from the past weeks. They have gone viral, like the Star Wars, May the 4th events, best character dining in Disney, when the Guardians ride broke down with Chris on it and having the whole queue to ourselves for two hours. You'll see the queue for the new Guardians ride like no other. And again, a reminder if you haven't already, enter to win a shirt at shoplv.com in the comments. Let us know what is your favorite safari animal or for extra entries, what are our past Animal Kingdom vlogs? There's not a ton of them, so let us know. I'll count even like three of them. Thanks for joining us on LBV TV. We never say goodbye on this channel. We only say Mickey's very famous tagline, see you real soon. But I think in this case, a Quaharini is in order. Quaharini! Yeah.